Okay guys, so this is Tube Man 777 again. And guess what? I am back in the hotel I was in last year. One year ago exactly actually. So uh see if you can spot the difference from my pre other previous video. So yeah, I'm at the same hotel and uh back in Manila of course and it's now 2017. So I mean uh what do I think again of Manila? Um, yeah, it's a good city and I've grown more attached to the people. Um, they're a very interesting mix of people. Uh, you know, uh, you've got obviously the Asian culture, you've got the uh, American influence from the past 50 years, 60 years or so. And you've got obviously the Spanish colonial influence from the past uh, three or 400 years. So it's a very, very interesting uh, mix. Um, only thing is the, the accent, sometimes I have difficulty with what they're saying because of that uh, kind of American mix. And I think with, because of my British accents as well, uh, it's both ways. So sometimes they don't understand me, which, which is fine. It's understandable if all the food is American English. But apart from that, you know, you can see the skyline. It's an up and coming city. It's, uh, it's a place to be. There's so much investment uh, going on. I was actually looking at this building. Uh, they've taken you know, a hell of a long time for such a small building. I don't know if these guys were on holiday, but if you look back to my other video, uh, they haven't done that much to it. Um, anyway, this hotel itself has uh, improved slightly. I didn't show you this before. But they've added a... Um, a breakfast area which is cool it's already made a very good hotel excellent and for for the price you know I'm, I'm paying about um, uh, just the best part of $30 slightly less actually and it really is an excellent hotel BR block and it's in Makati just wait for this uh, I think it's a motorbike going by might be a trike so yeah, transportation wise, talking of uh, bikes and trikes and things, very good, excellent. Um, yeah, this city has it all. Um, and still, yeah, I do still prefer, I still prefer it to, to Panama, like I said in my previous video uh, a year ago. Um, you know, it really is a lovely, lovely city. <coughs> so much going on. And you just can see from the activity, you know, there's a lot of investment, construction going up. Most of them are, are apartments for, uh, obviously, foreign investors, um, which, is, which is great. Um, you know, I'm actually thinking, uh, yeah, I'm pondering whether to buy one. Um, you can get some good deals. Um, where I was staying in, my pre in one of my other videos, I was in Malati. Now, that's not an area I recommend you, you guys purchase any properties because the area is uh, it's not a, a great area to live in or, um, well, unless you want to kind of rent the place out to foreigners who just want a bit of a party, you know, and uh, a few quick uh, dates, <laughs> if you know what I mean, not even dates, one-nighters uh, for money. I suppose you can rent it out to those guys and yeah, it's great. But to live in, um, no, I would say no. I'd rather prefer, much prefer to live in here, Makati, which is, you can see a lower, kind of uh, lower rise uh, area and uh, much less busy. I mean, there's no kind of, there's the thing, things called KTV bars, which are basically girls in the current kind of karaoke places where they come and join you and obviously if you you're interested you pay a bit of money for anything extra right and that doesn't interest me at all but that's there in Malati but this Makati it's very quiet you know you get the normal uh, Filipino people and there's no beggars and street kids running after you which you do get in Malati so guys I'm gonna leave the video here I hope it was beneficial for you guys and uh, yeah, spot the difference. Leave me any comments in the uh, comment section below. And you know, guys, mash that subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up. I need them from some of my videos. Okay, guys, catch you guys later. Tube man, triple seven out.